Hello everybody and welcome. This is the St. Catherine FA Major League Semi-Finals Leg 2. And this is Federal United versus Raiders. And it's here at the Spanish Town Prison Oval. My name is Christopher Scott and we're ready for action. And uh, the Federal United Football Club team, as we see the captain, the man Manny Hamilton, and the captain for New Raiders, that's Tafari Richards, with the officials here. And uh, the Federal United Football Club team, Romario Brown. Then we have Manny Hamilton, Christopher Holness, Roy McDonald. Barrington Planter, Horace Sharp, Sheldon Stevens, Baron Sweeney, Jashane Taylor, Shane Watson, and Orit Williams. And for new Raiders, we have Travis Bennett, Richard Brown, then Tevin Cheese, John Edmondson, also Johnny Flemings, Akeem Higgins. Michael Hurst, Oral Johnson, Ikeem Lawrence, also Tariq Reed, Tafari Richards, the captain, then Ty Wedderburn, Rowan Williams, Wilbur Williams, and that rounds off the starting 11. So the new Raiders seems will kick off first. Here at the Spanish Town Prison Oval. And so it's one apiece via aggregate in the first leg between New Raiders and Federal United. And we're off and running here at the Spanish Town Prison Oval. This is New Raiders versus Federal United at the St. Catherine FA. As we see a ball floated over now for Travis Bennett. And he sends it across. And that's not a bad cross in the end. And it was actually a very good cross for Johnny Flemings to try and latch on to. But it was too much in the end by Bennett. So it will be... A goal kick for Federal United. As I said in the first leg, it was actually one apiece that the game ended. So there must be a winner today. As we know, we'd like to see a team progress. Which one will it be? Ball intercepted. Ball sent over now. Shane Watson still on the ball. Tried to send that one inside. Ball sent forward now. Wedderburn. And that much, or that ball also in, almost intercepted, but the referee says it's a throw. And then he gave it, or she gave it to Federal United now. So, Federal United with the throw, Roy McDonald. Ball taken away, and it's actually a free kick. Foul, committed by Andre Paul, so it will be a free kick for New Raiders. Ball sent over now, headed on by Michael Hurst. Defensive clearance there by Federal United, and then a further clearance there by Romario Brown goes into touch and it will be a throw for New Raiders Hurst on the ball now turns, tried to turn by Romario Brown but he met into another Federal United player 
And now they can go forward. And the man there, Christopher Holness, he loses it. But the referee says it seems to be a free kick for Federal United. So, opportunity now, the first real opportunity actually came in, came in the opening minute. Well, Travis Bennett sent that ball across and the player Flemings couldn't latch on, but now we see an opportunity presented. And the man, Shane Taylor of Federal United will take this free kick. Ball sent inside the 18-yard box and... The captain, Manny Hamilton, tried to latch on. And they do lose it once more, New Raiders, but they get it back. New Raiders with possession. Ball set across now. And defensive clearance there by Jashane Taylor. Through for New Raiders. Travis Bennett throws it forward for Michael Hurst. Defensive work there by Sweeney. And Sweeney, that ball goes into touch. Throw taken quickly. And the man, Flemings, couldn't latch on again. What defensive work there by Federal United. Another throw. And there's a player down on the field. It's... Actually, Michael Hurst and his opponents actually helping him. And just to let you know that there will be a winner, or has to be a winner here. Throw taken, Michael Hurst on the ball, challenged. No to Bennett, but swung over, headed on. And another good opportunity presented for New Raiders. Headed on, Bennett heads it across. Lawrence loses it. Federal United with the ball now. The referee says it's a foul. Take it quickly. Over now. McDonald. With the ball, swings that one inside, trying to find Holness. Holness latches on, he's being challenged by the opposing number seven, Richards. Ball swung inside now by Romario Brown, headed on, and not collected properly, but collected now is Oral Johnson. Man, Shane Watson almost latched on to that one. Flemings now, opportunity presented, but too much on it. And Stevens kicks that ball up. Only finds the feet of Richard Brown. Brown sends it back for his defensive teammate. Who sends it further across for Ty Wedderburn. Wedderburn will latch on and he does. And calling for it. And Bennett tries to reach for it. Couldn't. And here's Planter on the ball. Through for new Raiders. Ty Wedderburn on the ball now. Sends it back. And the ball sent forward now for Michael Hurst. He's being challenged there by Sweeney. And that goes into touch for a throw. Throw taken. Akeem Lawrence was challenged by the skipper. And Horace Sharp sends it across, trying to find wholeness. Too much on it. And it goes into touch for a throw to New Raiders. Team Lawrence. Ty Wedderburn now for New Raiders. 
That ball sent across. Almost intercepted. And that was a very rash challenge there. By the man Richard Brown. Brown sends it over now. And Manny Hamilton sends it further across to try and find McDonald. Last touch by a new Raiders player. Throw, take it quickly. Headed on by Shane Watson. Watson on the ball now. He's being challenged by Wedderburn. It's still Shane Watson for Federal United. And that ball goes into touch for a throw to New Raiders. Ball sent up now trying to find Flemings. Headed on. And now Marty Hamilton. Controls, almost loses it, and does now. Akeem Lawrence now on the ball. Sends it over to Michael Hurst. Michael Hurst, he's being challenged. Turns. And too much on it to find Flemings. And that one goes behind for a goal kick for Federal United. and Stevens would want those all day. Ball sent up now. Headed on. Flemings. Over now. And Williams sends it back. And Richard Brown. Last touch by the man Holness, so a throw. A throw now by Richard Brown, trying to find Akeem Lawrence. They still have it, New Raiders. Tafari Richards, he loses it. Looking for a pass, unable to find it, but he still gets it back. Federal United can go forward. And Shane Watson, defensive work there by Ty Wedderburn. Throw now for it's actually a corner for Federal United. And the new Raiders who had a very good comeback in the quarterfinals that we featured here. Ball sent over. And uh, Williams tried a ball inside. But Tafar Richard sent it up for Michael Hurst. He's being challenged by Romaria Brown. Good defensive work there by Romaria Brown. And it goes into touch and it will be a throw for New Raiders. This is the St. Catherine FA Major League semi-finals between New Raiders and Federal United. The first leg actually ended one apiece. And we're here at the second leg. Spanish Town Prison Oval is the setting. And the St. Catherine FA Major League semi-finals semi -finals leg two is the event. Throw there to Manny Hamilton, but too much on it. Goes into touch for a throw to New Raiders. The man Tafari Richards will take this throw. Tafari Richards with the throw. Trying to find Michael Hurst, headed on. Met the boot of Romario Brown, but deflected and it will be a throw take it quickly now Romario Brown tries to lock that ball forward for wholeness tries to latch on to that one is Ron Williams ball sent forward now Michael Hurst chests it he's being challenged ball sent forward trying to find Flemings once more and I tell you the man there Barrington Plant has been everywhere that Michael Hurst is. Also the man Byron Sweeney. So I guess the instruction was to lock down Michael Hurst. And Lloyd Cole just wanting his team to stay patient. And stay focused and they can win this game. Will be a very, very daunting task. 
Ball sent forward now. That ball headed on. Mario Brown tried to latch on. Now it's Orette Williams, loses it to Akeem Lawrence. And defensive work there by, New by Federal United. Ball sent back now for Richard Brown. Sent over now for Flemings. Collected there by Sheldon Stevens. Challenge in the air there. Headed back for his defender. Ron Williams sends it back for Ty Wedderburn. Wedderburn on the ball now. Tried to find Hakeem Lawrence. Now it's Manny Hamilton. Back now for McDonald. McDonald for Federal United. Sends it forward for Holness. Defensive work there by Richard Brown. Bennett. And uh, the referee didn't see that. Actually, the ball went out of play. But it's gone now. Officially. So the referee just telling him where to take the throw. So referee just telling him to take the throw. Manny Hamilton sends it forward. Wanted to find somebody, doesn't. Tafari Richard sends it forward. Intercepted there by Orek Williams. And Williams finds wholeness. Wholeness. Oh, that was a beautiful turn there. And beautiful skill. Oh, that was a clattering challenge. The referee says no. My word. That was a clattering challenge. He got none of the ball, in my opinion. Heard the impact. And uh, apparently the referee says it's a good sliding challenge there by Tariq Reed. Richard Brown on the ball now. Sends it forward trying to find Akeem Lawrence, but wrong direction. And it will be a throw for Federal United. Planto. Ball sent forward now for Holness, trying to chase it. But Tariq Reed leaves it for the goalkeeper. Rolls it now to Tariq Reed. Reed sends it forward for Bennett. Heads it on. But Barrington Planter heads it back to Byron Sweeney. Sweeney on the ball now. Was challenged by Flemings. Referee says goal kick for Federal United. Ball sent across now for Jashane Taylor. Jashane Taylor now. Still Jashan Taylor. Sends it forward. Rhett Williams sends it back to Jashan Taylor. Headed on by Tafari Richards. Now it's with Sharp. Marnie Hamilton. His ball deflected. Now it's with Bennett. Bennett turns. Tries to find Flemings. And Flemings will try to latch on once more. And I think it awkwardly bounced on him. There's a player down on the field now. It's actually Marnie Hamilton, the skipper for Federal United Football Club. And now signaling the medical staff for Federal United. So the referee for this evening, or this afternoon, it's actually Crystal Sobers from Trinidad and Tobago. Still being attended to. And 
Hopefully the skipper is okay. He's all right. It seems to be actually a right hand injury. And Bennett just trying to see if his opponent's okay in the spirit of competition. Good on Travis Bennett to check if his opponent's all right. Have to be on the A game. Taken off momentarily. Goal kick for Federal United. Ball sent forward. Headed on. Travis Bennett will try to latch on. He does. Ooh, pretty ball game there. Over back to Travis Bennett. He's being challenged by Barrington Planter. Headed on. Out there by Orette Williams. He will be latched on by Williams. It's Roshane Williams. Now it is Sharp. Sharp sends it forward, trying to find Watson. Challenge here by Tariq Reed. And he goes into touch for a throw. Travis Bennett heads that one across. And Hakeem Williams with a turn. Flemings now turns by Planter. Sends it across for Michael Hurst. Hurst, he's being challenged. And that's a handed ball there by the man, Jashan Taylor. And by the signal of Manny Hamilton, it seems that he wants a substitution. And uh, based on the direction he's running, it seems as if he's not gonna be able to continue it seems to be his right hand or his wrist, so to speak. And he's requesting a substitution. No. Now he comes on to the field. So was not signaling to be substituted, was signaling to come onto the field. And a free kick now, straight into the wall. And collected there by Sheldon Stevens. Thrown over now to Byron Sweeney. Sweeney over to McDonald, intercepted brilliantly by Flemings, throws it over for Travis Bennett. Turns by Sweeney, sent it side. And latched on by Hurst, but shot there by Akeem Williams way, way wide. And the keeper will collect Sheldon Stevens. Now collected with the gloves. First collected with the boot. New Raiders going forward, intercepted by Arette Williams. Sharp, his ball taken away from him. Richard Brown turning. It's actually Rasheen Williams. Williams still finding a pass. Trying to look for a pass. Finds his teammate. Ball sent forward now trying to find Hurst, but intercepted by Jashane Taylor. And that ball intercepted by Richard Brown. And again, Federal United has the ball and they give it away. And there's just a seesaw battle for possession. Headed on by Sweeney. Intercepted there by Tafari Richards. Now it's Michael Hurst. Turns back. Ball swung inside the 18 yard box. And almost through the fingers of the keeper, Stevens. But he collects it. Ty Wedderburn. He does not get that ball, but it is with Holness. Holness is being challenged by Reed. Chips that ball over, trying to find Watson. And Watson with the foul. So it will be a free kick for New Raiders. And like I said, it, there has to be a winner here today. The second leg of the semifinals. The first ended in a 1-1 draw. And 
This ball sent forward now. Headed on. Travis Bennett sends that ball to Michael Hurst. Chester down nicely. Hurst over to Williams. Williams across for Wedderburn. Wedderburn goes forward now. And the wrong turn there by Flemings. Rolled over to Sweeney. Intercepted there and sent forward. And the Barrington planter leaves it for Stevens, the goalkeeper. Williams. McDonald. Tackle there. Chested by Flemings. Turns. Tries to lose. McDonald Hurst. Back for Lawrence. Lawrence over. Finds Tafari Richards. Richards on the ball now. He's been challenged by Brown. Still Tafari Richards. Turns by Romario Brown. Stops. Turns once more. Finds Akeem Lawrence. Hurst now. Turns. And fires. Wide of the target. Goal kick for Federal United. Rowan Williams now sends it forward for Michael Hurst. Turning by Shashane Taylor, but he couldn't. So it will be a goal kick for Federal United. Goal kick. Romario Brown challenged by Tafari Richards. Richards gets the ball. But he loses it to Romario Brown after a stumble. Still Romario Brown take it off his ball very, very easily by Wilburn Williams. Referee says no foul. Orette Williams for Federal United. Sends that ball across. Finds Sharp. Sharp latches on. He's been challenged. And instead sends it forward for Shane Watson. Watson challenged by Wedderburn. Back to Sharp. Ball swung inside, but defensive clearance there by Tariq Reed. And it will be a throw as that ball went into touch. Throw for Federal United. Sharp now. Forward for Brown. Defensive clearance there by. And now an opportunity. And will this be the first of the contest? No, it isn't. Good clearance, good coverage there by the man Byron Sweeney to prevent a shot or a proper shot there by Flemings. Akeem Lawrence taken off his ball there by Jason, La or Jason Taylor. And con control and collected there. The New Raiders just trying to easily bounce the ball around to get themselves settled but they don't. Here's Manny Hamilton. The skipper sends it forward for Sharp. Sharp lobs that ball forward to find Holness. Holness chases it down. The referee says no handed ball. Defensive clear there by Richard Brown. So a throw. Orette Williams now. Send forward for McDonald. McDonald will drift inside the 18 yard box. So beautiful turn there and a shot. Ooh, that was a stinging shot just wide of the target. And first of real opportunity of the contest for Federal United. Beautiful turn by McDonald. 
And they send that ball inside for the man Honus. But could have made use of it. Defensive clearance now. It's with Wilburn Williams. Sends it across for Ty Wedderburn. Ty Wedderburn will keep this one in play. And it does. Sends it forward for Michael Hurst who sends it across for Tafar Richards. But couldn't find the direction. Rowan Williams. Forward for Tafar Richards. Across for Rowan Williams once more. No foul. Oret Williams. His ball intercepted. Referee says no handed ball. Forward for Michael Hurst. He's been challenged by Jason Taylor. Michael Hurst couldn't get a pass inside the 18 yard box. Instead recovered by the skipper who sends it forward and meets the boot of Tyreek Reed. Ty Wedderburn now for New Raiders. Forward for Rowan Williams. Back for Tyreek Reed. Intercepted now. And Federal United can make something of this play. And uh, the ball couldn't find Horace Sharp. Travis Bennett. And uh, that ball went to no one but the gloves of the goalkeeper, Stevens. So Federal United can reset. Headed out by Reed. Collected there. And no new Raiders. It's actually a foul committed. So it will be a free kick. And Anil Thomas is not happy with the decision by the referee. Sobers. And the officials for today as well. Rolando Bonnet. Shereen. Loin, Shane Watson, and Ainsley Sharp. Headed on. Now Michael Hurst. He's being challenged, and the referee says no foul. Sobers again. And it's across to McDonald. McDonald sends it forward now for Holness. Holness sends it across for Horace Sharp. Trying to keep that one in play and does. Holness now on the ball, sends it back for McDonald. A clattering challenge there by Travis Bennett. Through for New Raiders. So it has been a physical game since the opening minute with 30 and a half minutes gone in this contest so it's just under or it's just over 14 minutes to go as we approach 31 minutes 14 minutes to go in the first half down on the field and that was Jason or Jason Taylor sends it across for Tafar Richards he was trying to chase and he couldn't too much on that one and he goes into touch for a throw yeah, take it quickly Orrick Williams on the ball now back for Jason Taylor forward now trying to find a teammate but they do still have possession McDonald over for Sharp Sharp not challenged by anyone Holness has the ball now he was challenged Reed throws that one. Wilburn Williams sends it across for Travis Bennett. Back now for Richard Brown. Just steps by McDonald with ease. 
Brown forward now for Fleming. And that was not the right decision. Well, I should say it was the right decision, but not able to get that properly on his foot, on his left foot. Wilbur Williams now, forward for Fleming. And Byron Sweeney, making sure that that is cleared. So we take in. Fleming's now on the ball. Back for Travis Bennett, he goes forward, gets by one and gets by two, sends it across for Fleming's. Ball set across now to the back post, but Tafari Richards couldn't reach that one in time, but it does. And the referee says it's a foul by Richards on Brown. That's Romario Brown of Federal United. Take it quickly, Romario Brown now on the ball for Federal United. Sent across, intercepted by Akeem Lawrence. Still Lawrence, sends it across for Hurst. Hurst shields the players off the ball. It's still Hurst. And the referee says it's a foul. And it's a red. So Michael Hurst is off. And uh, New Raiders reduced to 10 men. And the Sobas not wasting any time. And the first card of the game is actually a red. So New Raiders reduced to 10 players. And again, I'm trying to figure out how the red card was given. So. That ball was sent across for Michael Hurst. I'm not sure as to why he got a red. Maybe should be a yellow at best, but I don't think that's a red. Maybe because he stepped in the foot of the stepped into the foot of the Federal United player, and that's why I think he got the red card. And that's kind of baffling to me. That's the only that's the only reason I would think that Michael Hurst got a red. And so Akeem Lawrence pleading with the referee and asking her as to why Michael Hurst got the red. And now they have an opportunity to go forward. Horace Sharp over now. And a ball set across. Headed on. Oh, that was an opportunity. What an opportunity for Federal United to go ahead. Not only in this contest, but on aggregate. And that was a beautiful ball set across by Shane Watson. To the man, Christopher Holness. And he should have put that one away, or at least put that one on target. What an opportunity for Federal United to go ahead. And hopefully that opportunity won't come back to haunt them. Ball sent up. No. Headed on. Headed for another no by Flemings. And a shot there by Travis Bennett. And that went straight over to the prison. So for sure it will be a goal kick. And there's a player down on the field. And Roy McDonald has not moved. And uh, very, very troubling scenes there. He probably is knocked out. 
but he was challenging for the ball along with Johnny Flemings. And he seemed to be knocked out. And that is not good. And he's actually still knocked out. So hopefully he's okay. Now they're tending to him. And uh, for sure, it would be at least a concussion. And most of the new rate, the Federal United players, they're surrounding the, the player, Roy McDonald. And the only new rate of players that were surrounding the player, the number 18 are now walking away and um, thinking that he will be substituted because that Chris. was a very, very dangerous knock. And if he's down on the floor now and he's basically knocked out, he's knocked out for a moment. He's still breathing but he's damaged no doubt and i don't necessarily think it was really so much the challenge between him and flames i think it was on his way down when he actually hit his head i think that was the reason why he was knocked out for a little bit but he's up and he's able to walk walk on his own no but he's still able to walk and that's a good sign So he's just checking and I think they should do a concussion test to see if he's okay. So he's taken off momentarily. I'm not sure if he's going to continue, but I know he's okay. Ball sent up now, collected by Akeem Lawrence. Now it's Travis Bennett who loves that ball for trying to find Johnny Flemings. And that was cleared by Byron Sweeney. So a throw for New Raiders. Tariq Reed over for Richard Brown. Brown on the ball now, sends it forward. Trying to find the man, Johnny Flemings. He's being challenged by Jason Taylor. And Justin Taylor, he loses the ball to Johnny Flemings. Ball set across. And the referee says it's an offside call. So it's a free kick for Federal United. So Roy McDonald is now on the field. So he's not only Roy McDonald.
Marty Hamilton sends it over for Romario Brown. Brown now on the ball for Federal United. Clearance there somewhat by Wilburn Williams. Williams now over to Bennett. It's collected now by Byron Sweeney who sends it forward for the man Roy McDonald. McDonald swings that one inside the 18-yard box. We're headed on by Watson. Still not averted there in terms of danger. And Federal United still has it. And Sharp just couldn't go through any of the players from New Raiders. That one goes into touch for a throw to Federal United. Horace Sharp. Over to Hamilton. The skipper. Defensive work there headed on and Wilburn Williams sends it across somewhat of a defensive clearance headed on by Byron Sweeney and collected by New Raiders deflection and it will be a throw for New Raiders so New Raiders down to 10 men that red card was issued to the man, Michael Hurst. Through. Taken now, Byron Sweeney turns by Johnny Flemings. Sends it back for Jason Taylor, who sends it forward. And finding Christopher Holness pretty, pretty well. And ball set across inside the 18 yard box, headed on. The referee says it's a corner for Federal United. Opportunity presented for Federal United now to go ahead in this contest and go ahead on aggregate. Corner taken, headed on, but punched out there by the goalkeeper. Akeem Lawrence, over to Johnny Flemings. It's actually Johnny Flemings they're, they're saying, and referee says no foul. Ball sent forward, headed on there by Jason Taylor. Horace Sharp now on the ball for Federal United. Chips it forward, trying to find Romario Brown. Oh, that was a clattering challenge. Straight into the chest of the New Raiders player. The man, Richard Brown. Free kick for New Raiders. Fire Richards now on the ball for New Raiders. Swings that one inside the 18 yard box, headed out by Sweeney. Goes behind for a corner to New Raiders. Opportunity now presented for New Raiders to go ahead, even though they're reduced to 10 men. Only three players outside the 18 yard box. Four if you count the corner taker. And corner headed out by Horace Sharp. Wilburn Williams with the shot, but goes over and will be a goal kick for Federal United. And that is the end of the first half. No one able to convert their chances. The best chance came for Federal United through their man Christopher Holness, the number seven, but he just couldn't convert. So at the end of the first half, 45 minutes have elapsed and the new Raiders and Federal United Football Club, they're locked at nil all. <laughs> We are ready. Roll it.
is to continue to drive for the development of the game here. Although players are selected from clubs abroad, they were developed in the league. They're really quality players and they have really good attitude and you get your money's worth. This match has turned up several gears. So we're back here at the Spanish Town Prison Oval for the St. Catherine FA Major League semifinals between Federal United and New Raiders. And we're just going to take a look at the highlights from the first half. The first real chance there came to Federal United. And the ball sent forward. It was turned brilliantly by Christopher Holness, but he couldn't convert. And that was actually a very good challenge. As we see a shot there by Michael Hurst was the first real chance there for New Raiders. And then came another challenge, Horace Sharp. Sends that ball inside the 18-yard box with a defensive clearance again by Tyreek Reed. And he has been very solid for New Raiders as much as clearance. But this was a very, very good chance as well. And that was a stinging shot that just went wide of the target from Christopher Holness. And then another chance for New Raiders would come. Or that actually is the red card for Michael Hurst and uh, the referee actually said that's a straight red that's no yellow card no warning straight red so you see another very good chance ball sent in for actually Christopher Holness who should have put that one on target and hit it wide and uh, that has been the highlight of the first half so first half action it's still Federal United nil, New Raiders nil. We'll cut to commercial and when we come back, second half action of the St. Catherine FA Major League semi finals, leg two.
ball is played to Ears Herewood. Who, and the keeper drops the ball at Ears Herewood, can walk that one into the back of the net. Lashley. And Benpo on the counter attack for Mount Pleasant. Benpo tumbles over from the channel from Simpson. Ball slid through there, the goalkeeper. Benpo over the top. But look when it comes to him. Counter-attack for Mount Pleasant. Benpo. Tumbles over from the channel from Simpson. Ball slid through there, the goalkeeper. Benpo! Over the top. But look when it comes to him. Ball played over the top. Offside, Ricardo Dennis was, but the flag didn't go up. Then it comes to Benpo. First touch, it rides up on him. And Purcell on him in a flash. He had to get rid of the ball quickly. And that's why these shot was harmless in the end. There's Purcell in his line of sight, closing him down. Benbo, Benbo, good pace. Still Benbo. Dennis with the effort from just outside the box. To let that run, there's Camlo going to it, calling for it from Benbo. Gets the call from, 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 from Ricardo Dennis. And Marsh battled for the ball. Oh, Benbo does really well here. Wins a corner ball back and gets it. Touch onto the ball, but doesn't prevent Benpo from taking it. Benpo, multiple step overs from Benpo. Shot blocked from Isaacs. Benpo with a rebound. Oh, this is Benpo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> yeah. Then look at this shot. That was struck with tremendous power and Brian Sharp. Isaacs. Oh, beautiful turn by Benpo. Daniel Green. Over the top with the left footed strike. Turn from Benpo in midfield. Look at this. Leaves this man for dead. Orlando Brown. Slips Daniel Green in. Manning. Benpo. Good pass forward. Looking for Hodges. Parchment has seen the end of it. Jabari Howell is on him in his place tonight. Just some fashion up in the midfield area. And Benpo on the counter attack for Mount Pleasant. Benpo tumbles over from the channel from Simpson. Ball slid through there, the goalkeeper, Ben Bo over the top. But look when it comes to him, ball played over the top. Offside, Ricardo Dennis was, but the flag didn't go up. Then it comes to Ben Bo, first touch, it rides up on him. And Purcell on him in a flash, he had to get rid of the ball quickly. And that's why the shot was harmless in the end. There's Purcell in his line of sight, closing him down. Ben Bo, Ben Bo, good pace. Still Ben Bo. the effort from just outside the box to let that run there's Camlo going to it calling for it from Benbo gets the call from Mark, from, from Ricardo Dennis and Marsh battled for the ball oh Benbo does really well here wins a corner ball back and gets it touch onto the ball but doesn't prevent Benbo from taking it Benbo multiple step overs from Benbo Shot blocked from Isaacs. Benbo with a rebound. Oh, no. This is Benbo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> yeah. Then look at this shot. That was struck with tremendous power and Brian Sharp. Isaacs. Oh, beautiful turn by Benbo. Daniel Green. Over the top with the left foot. We are ready. The role is to continue to drive for the development of the game here.
Although players are selected from clubs abroad, they were developed in the league. They're really quality players and they have really good attitude and you get your money's worth. This match has turned up several gears. So we're back here at the Spanish Town Prison Oval for St. Catherine FA Major League semifinals, leg two. The first leg ended 1 1. New Raiders actually down to 10 men after a first half red card by Michael Hurst. And the captain, it seems. Based on my vision, it's actually the man, Tafari Richards. It is. And so we're going to start the second half with Federal United as we see Sobas checking her watch. And she signals the start of the second half. Tafari Richards now on the ball for New Raiders. McKay New Raiders now going forward. Defensive clearance there by Eric Williams. And now Ty Wedderburn has the ball, sends it across for Reed. Reed back to Wedderburn and he couldn't control that one. So it will be a throw for Federal United. Horace Sharp over to Romario Brown. He turns by Ron Williams. It's still Romario Brown, but there's a stop on the play. There was a foul by Rowan Williams. So it will be a free kick for Federal United. So opportunity presented. Swing this one inside the 18 yard box. In terms of height, Federal United doesn't necessarily have the height. I mean, normal height, and there's no tall and robust players inside the 18 yard box for them to trouble any defenders from New Raiders. But sometimes it's the smallest players that win headers. So they will try to get this one on target at least. The only man standing behind the ball is Harish Sharp. And he will swing this one with his preferred foot, which is the right foot. Harish Sharp. And that was a very poor free kick by Harish Sharp. So it will be a free kick, or it will be a goal kick for McKay New Raiders. Take it quickly. Over to Ty Wedderburn. He controls. Sends that ball forward, it goes into touch. And it will be a throw for Federal United Football Club. And it has been a very intensified first half. But in terms of goals, it's been very tame. No goals scored yet. Shane Watson gives it to Romario Brown. Romario Brown can send this one inside, but... 
No one there to latch onto it in a red kit for Federal United. They still have it now. Jason Taylor on the ball now, sends it inside. The 18 yard box will be collected by the goalkeeper. Rolled quickly for Janai Flemings. Sent back and sent forward there. But it goes into touch and it will be a throw for Federal United. Roy McDonald to take the throw. Turning there is Christopher Holness, but too much on it. So it will be a goal kick for McKay New Raiders. Send forward now. And it down by Williams. Ty with a burn on the ball. He's being challenged by Shane Watson. What about now? And couldn't keep that one in play. Throw taken. To fire Richards. Over to Akeem Lawrence. Challenged by Romaria Brown. Sends it over for Wilburn Williams. Sends it forward now for Akeem Lawrence. He has some time. And space inside the center circle, but no communication between any of the McKinney Raiders players. So it goes back to Federal United. And to be honest, New Raiders, since the start of the second half, albeit just a couple of minutes, are playing like they have 11 players on the field. So no hiccup in their game so far instead of just passing the ball and just reading the game properly. But they're playing like they have 11 players on the field. So, Brennan. Federal United would have Brennan. to be very careful. Right. Through taken. Christopher Holness now on the ball for Federal United. Swung inside the 18 yard box, but behind, and it will be a goal kick for McKinney Raiders. Don't forget the second match. So this will be a this is a double header for the St. Catherine FA semifinals. Leg two. And that was a foul there by Horace Sharp. So a free kick for New Raiders. And the other match it is Cedar Grove. They're facing off against Royal Lakes. The first leg also ended in a 1-1 draw between the two teams. So that should also be an interesting contest. Ball sent across now. Collected there by Romario Brown. Brown is being challenged by Tafara Richards. It's still Romario Brown for Federal United. Still Romario Brown. What a run this is. And Romario Brown was taken down eventually by Ty Wedderburn. It's a goal kick for McKay New Raiders. That was a very good run there by Romaria Brown. And almost got by the man Ty Wedderburn, but couldn't. And so it's a goal kick for McKay New Raiders. Now Barrington Planter sends it forward for Christopher Holness. He's being challenged by Richard Brown. It's still Christopher Holness for Federal United. Turns and loses it to Wilburn Williams. And then a defensive clearance there by Ty Wedderburn. Travis Bennett sends it over. Trying to find Janai Flemings. Collected now. New Raiders on the ball. Joaquim Lawrence. Lawrence chips that ball over and finds his teammate and then Travis Bennett will try to chase but 
Too much on it there. And Byron Sweeney made sure that Travis Bennett couldn't control that one. So it goes behind for a goal kick for Federal United Football Club. Jason Taylor sends that one into touch. Misplaced pass. So it will be a throw for McKinney Raiders. Lawrence, his ball taken from him by Romario Brown. Brown still on the ball, rolls it to Sweeney, who loves that ball forward and does find the chest. But of his opponent, Tafara Richards, the captain, no. Ball sent forward by Tariq Reed. Could latch on to it first. Travis Bennett. He does now. And sends it forward for Janai. Flemings. Flemings stops. And collected there. And it will be a goal kick. The referee says ball went behind first. Rolled quickly. Or passed quickly. Horace Sharp now. Sends it back for Roy McDonald. McDonald looking for a pass. And sends it forward and fights Christopher Holness. He just stops the ball and a dime and Wilbur Williams does foul and it will be a free kick taken quickly now Shane Watson is being challenged by Wedderburn and miscontrol there by Shane Watson it goes behind for a goal kick to McKinney Raiders Headed on by Tafari Richards. It's now Travis Bennett. Defensive clearance there by Byron Sweeney. Headed on. And Tafari Richards to Travis Bennett and he tries to give it back to Tafari Richards. Akeem Lawrence over to Richards. And collected by Tafari Richards once more. Turns. And he couldn't fight Travis Bennett. Rick Williams turns, finds Roy McDonald. And there's a player down on the field. Sakeem Lawrence. Ball sent forward, intercepted by Richard Brown. And the medical staff of McKinney Red is summoned. Players just getting hydrated for that little stoppage. But he's up and taken off momentarily, Akeem Lawrence. So they're now reduced to 10 minutes or 9 minutes at the moment, I should say. Ball sent forward now. And, uh, able to collect that properly. Travis Bennett. On the ball for New Raiders, chips that ball forward. Trying to find Janai Flemings. Christopher Holness latches on to for Federal United. Couldn't keep that one in play. Will be a throw for New Raiders. Richard Brown now with the throw to Janai Flemings. Flemings now sends it back for Richard Brown, who sends that forward, trying to find Travis Bennett. Meets the head of Sweeney. Ty Whitaburn now. For McCain Raiders. Sends it for Travis Benning and across to Tafari Richards. Which is now almost runs that one out of play. Byron Sweeney now collects for Federal United. Sends it forward intercepted. But he hasn't controlled that one properly, Ty Wedderburn. So Rick Reed is there. And collected now by Christopher Holness. Hounded by two players. And the New Raiders gets the ball back once more. Wilburn Williams. 
Sends it forward, couldn't fight Janai. Flemings, Oret Williams now. His ball cleared by Reed. So it will be a throw for Federal United. Take it quickly now, Shane Watson chests it down. He loses it. Hakeem Lawrence, he loses it. Jason Taylor sends it forward. Finding Mario Brown, kept that one in play, but it is a throw. It's actually, it's actually a throw. It's actually a throw for Federal United. There's a mix up in terms of communication between the second official and the main referee. Ball swung inside. There's an offside. So it's a free kick for McCain Raiders. Sharina Loins is the second official or the second assistant. Headed down by Akeem Lawrence to Fire Richards now. Rolls it for Wilburn Williams. Chips it for Rowan Williams. Williams now on the ball. Still Williams for Federal for New Raiders actually. His ball intercepted by Marnie Hamilton. Back for Byron Sweeney. Turns. And actually, that's not a bad ball for Christopher Holness. Kim Lawrence. No. He's being challenged by Aret Williams. Rowan Williams forward. Couldn't find Wilburn Williams, so. They lose it. Now it's Horace Sharp. He has so much space here in the middle of the park and gets by one player, but too much for him. And he ran away from him. Defensive clearance there by Barrington Planter. Romario Brown now on the ball for Federal United. Sends it forward, trying to find Christopher Holness, but couldn't. Travis Bennett now turns and chips that ball forward for Janai. Fleming sends it across for Tafari. Richards now. Opportunity for Feder or New Raiders, but just couldn't find Janai Flemings once more. And that was not a good ball in the end. Not a good cross. And it will be a goal kick for Federal United. So there will be the first substitution of the contest for Federal United. And it actually is Shane Watson that comes out. Giovanni Greenwood comes on for Federal United Football Club. So Shane Roberts comes off and uh, Giovanni Greenwood comes on. Boston for no for Travis Bennett. Sliding challenge by Byron Sweeney, but last touch. By Byron Sweeney, the referee says, Crystal Sobers. So it will be a throw for McCain, you Raiders. It's actually a free kick for McCain, you Raiders. Not sure if that was a free kick because he skipped by the player and he didn't, he didn't catch him from what I saw, but the referee saw something else. So it is a free kick for McCain U Raiders. Wilbur Williams swings that one inside the 18 yard box. Headed out by Byron Sweeney, but it's collected by Travis Bennett. Chips that ball over. Headed on by Ron Williams. Couldn't latch on to that one. And it goes behind and it will be a goal kick for Federal United. So a very good opportunity for McKay New Raiders to go ahead. 
The first leg ends 1-1. There must be a winner here today to advance to the St. Catherine FA Major League Finals. Who will it be? Who will be the first team into the finals here from this match between Federal United and New Raiders? A very good sliding challenge there by Wedderburn. And the first assistant, Rolando Bennett, says it's actually a corner. But it's taken by Hakeem Lawrence and taken by Jason Taylor. Manny Hamilton over to Eric Williams. Williams now to Barrington Planter. Federal United just trying to keep possession and maybe launch something and produce something. Collected there by the man Oral Johnson. Federal United will have to come harder. And uh, McKay, New Raiders actually reduced the 10 men, so you'd think that they would take advantage, Federal United, but they're unable to do that. Here's Wilburn Williams now, sends it over to Ty, Ty Wedderburn, and uh, a pass there by Reed, collected by Travis Bennett. He couldn't get by Byron Sweeney. There's a player down on the field. Know in a second who it is. Just take a small <laughs> back for second half action. Team Catherine FA Major League semifinals, leg two. back here and as you saw in the commercial tomorrow at the National Stadium it's the second leg of the semi-finals of the Red Strat Premier League and Waterhouse they'll be playing at five they're gonna face off against Cavalier and they actually have a two goal advantage they won the first leg by two goals to nil Actually, their first win of the season against Cavaliers. And then at 8.35, it will be Portmore United versus Mount Pleasant. They have a 2-1 advantage. That's how much they... That's the scoreline from the first leg of the semifinals. And so, you can view that exclusively on our website. As we see Janai... Fleming's being taken all right, off. All right, we'll and the player warms all up right. for him, so I don't think he'll continue. So it will be a substitution. So Janai Fleming's comes off. So Janai Fleming's comes off. It seems. There's a substitution in the offing for Federal United. Number 14, Jason Taylor. He comes off and Stephen Morant, or Stephen Morant, comes on for Federal United. And the wayward shot there. So it goes behind for... A goal kick to McKay New Raiders and another substitution this time for McKay New Raiders. So it will be the man Janai Flemings that comes off or is taken off due to an injury. And coming on there is the man Tevin Cheese from Dintel Technical. Played for Dintel Technical in the the Costa Cup Tevin Cheese was a captain for Dintel Technical. 
last year. Ball sent forward now. Travis Bennett sends it across to find Tevin Cheese. Cheese, first touch of the contest. What will Tevin Cheese do? He shields the player. Roy McDonald, it's still Tevin Cheese, he loses it. Ball sent forward now to find Horace Sharp. Sharp challenged by Wilburn Williams. Rick Williams sends it across for Manny Hamilton, who sends it further across. And now Tafari Richard sends it back for Wedderburn. And defensive clearance there. We saw Stephen or Stephen Morant almost latched on there for Federal United. They do have possession. All right, Williams sends it forward. And, uh, able to find Giovanni Greenwood. But it is, in fact, a free kick for Federal United. Manny Hamilton, the skipper, sent it forward, trying to find Giovanni Greenwood. Couldn't. So that will be a throw for McCain Raiders. As we're approaching 69 minutes in this contest, no one able to break the deadlock just yet. Williams up to Giovanni Greenwood. Couldn't latch on to that one again. Giovanni Greenwood, throw taken. Tariq Reed sends that ball forward. Meets no one in a new Raiders kit, but it does meet Federal United kit. Very good interception there by Ty Wedderburn. Turns by Horace Sharp. Couldn't find Tafari Richards. New Raiders lose his possession. Forward now, trying to find Stephen Morant. And the referee says no foul as the man Tariq Reed puts his hand up, say I didn't foul him, referee. And he didn't. So it's a goal kick for McKinney Raiders. Just over 20 minutes left in this contest. Oh, it's 20 minutes left until we possibly head to extra time and penalties. <laughs> Tafari Richards, his ball intercepted there by Christopher Holness. Romario Brown now sends it forward for Manny Hamilton, the skipper. He turns by Rowan Williams, leaves it for Christopher Holness. It's still Christopher Holness for Federal United. Still Holness. He was challenged by the opposing number seven, Tafari Richards. And Ty Wedderburn couldn't latch on to that one. Throw take it quickly. Mario Brown for Oret Williams. Williams sends that ball across, trying to find Giovanni Greenwood. And couldn't. Based on the comments we see in, on the YouTube page, Giovanni Green with a very popular player for Federal United. Referee says it's a fall by Tafari Richard, so it will be a free kick for Federal United. Romaria Brown now collects, sends it forward. And that's another challenge by Tafari Richards. So it will be a card for the on field skipper. So the FIFA referee from Trinidad gives her second card of the contest. And this time it's not a red, it's a yellow. So it will be a free kick for Federal United Football Club. So he will try to swing this one inside. All right, Williams. Not a bad ball in the end. And it's just wide of the target. And Arrett Williams foot straighted 
with that execution. That was not a bad ball. And you would think that someone could have latched on. It missed every new Raider player in the box. And it should have been the first goal at least on target for Federal United. And like I said, this is one of the many reasons why you should be able to, to take advantage of the 10 men reduction. That seems to be Roy McDonald that latched on to that one. Couldn't execute or put that one on target. So, goal kick for McCain U Raiders. Richard Brown up for Akeem Lawrence. Lawrence over to find the man Rowan Williams. So it will be, it's actually a free kick for McCain U Raiders. That foul was committed by Stephen Morant. Free kick to be taken now by the defender Tariq Reed. The Raiders with the free kick, headed on by Planter. Was collected initially by Lawrence, but he loses it to Marnie Hamilton, who sends it forward for Harris Sharp. They do lose it once more. Wedderburn over to Wilburn Williams. Almost loses it. Rowan Williams now sends it further forward to find the in-game captain, Safari Richards, who sends it across. And collected there by the goalkeeper, Sheldon Stevens. They can reset Federal United. Sending it forward now. Headed by Ty Wedderburn. And straight into the hands of Oral Johnson. Rolls it over. Finds the Fire Richards now. Up for Akeem Lawrence. His ball intercepted by Marnie Hamilton. Cross now to Horace Sharp, who sends it back for Rick Williams inside the center circle. Horace Sharp now. Again on the ball for. Federal United sends it across for Roy McDonald. Deflection. It goes into touch for a throw to Federal United. Quarter of an hour left to play. Federal United must try and use this to their advantage as New Raiders reduce to 10 men. But New Raiders has to find and dig deep Giovanni Greenwood, a very good sliding challenge there by Richard Brown. And a foul committed, and it will be a free kick for New Raiders. They have to dig deep, New Raiders, to produce something. Because they are playing with one less man today, at least for most of the match. Because Michael Hurst was recorded about halfway through the first half. But they're still able to hold on. Even though they're a man down, Tafari Richards now on the ball, the in-game skipper. Sent across to try and find Tevin Cheese. Headed out by Tevin Cheese. Headed out there by Christopher Holness. He's dropped back so much, Christopher Holness. And Horace Sharp almost caught up. But the man Reed saw that all the way. And then Oral Johnson saw it as well. Now by Tafari Richards now. Hakeem Lawrence on the ball. He's been challenged by Brown. Romaria Brown takes him off the ball. But Ty Wedderburn with his defensive clearance. Almost fell to Travis Bennett. Federal United has the ball. Ball sent across to Roy McDonald. McDonald chips that ball forward. Finding nobody but the goalkeeper Oral Johnson. Now they can reset once more McKay New Raiders. Ball sent up now to find the schoolboy Tevin Cheese who sends it across for Travis Bennett. Referee says no foul. Crystal Sobers. And play on. Barrington Planter. Over to Romario Brown. Controls. He has time and space to find a pass. 
Rhett Williams. Finds himself into trouble. And defensive clearance there by Rarrington Plata. Collected by Arette Williams. Sends it over, trying to find Stephen Morant. Referee says no throw. Stopped it on the line. Wilburn Williams. Tafari Richards. Wilburn Williams. Forward now to Travis Bennett. Intercepted now by Byron Sweeney. Chips that ball forward to find Giovanni Greenwood. Greenwood on the ball now. He's being challenged by Richard Brown. Very good tackle there by Richard Brown. And sends it forward to find the schoolboy, Tevin Cheese. Cheese on the ball now. Gets past the player, Roy McDonald, very easily. And a challenge there by Barrington Planter. What is the decision? It's a throw to McKinney Raiders. Take it quickly. Travis Bennett on the ball, sends it forward to find Akeem Lawrence. It's still Akeem Lawrence. And it's a foul, or it's actually an offside call, is it? And it will be a free kick for Federal United. So Mario Brown collects. Williams. Hamilton now for Federal United. Oh, that was a swing there by Tevin Cheese. Referee says advantage play. Giovanni Greenwood sends it for Horace Sharp. Back to the skipper Hamilton. Forward to try and find Roy McDonald. Richard Brown, defensive work there. Collects. And sends it across now for Orette Williams. Skipper now latches onto the ball, sends it forward for Roy McDonald, who tried to chase. And he couldn't. Referee or the first assistant, Rolando Bennett, says it's actually a goal kick for McKay New Raiders. We're approaching 80 minutes, so just over 10 minutes left of regular time. Williams ball intercepted. And now it's with Brown. Lamaria Brown urged to go forward. Stephen Morant chips it over. Finds Christopher Holness. Holness on to Romaria Brown who sends it back for Morant. Morant now turns nicely with the ball. And the ball set forward. Collected by Oral Johnson. Rolls to Wilburn Williams. That ball couldn't find Tevin Cheese. Instead finds the hands of the goalkeeper, Sheldon Stevens. Who sends that ball forward. And Holness tried to latch onto that one. It will be a throw for McKay New Raiders. Akeem Lawrence. No one near him. Finds Bennett who finds Holness. Lawrence once more. Defensive work there. Tevin Cheese sends that across for to fire Richards, but it is in fact an offside call. And to fire Richards, not happy. He has to be careful. He's on a yellow card, and he wouldn't want to get a second one and send him in a further disadvantage. He didn't think he was offside. So free kick for Federal United. Federal United has to be careful. They're the ones with the advantage in terms of. Players on the field, they have 11, and New Raiders has 10. So you would think that they would try to use that as their advantage, as we see Giovanni Greenwood. And it's a corner for Federal United. Take it quickly. Orette Williams on the ball now. Challenged by Wilburn Williams. Collected now by Romario Brown. Just one-time pass. And he collects it once more, just chips it, and it's actually a foul. And Crystal Sobers just warning him again 
And I believe that if he gets warned once more, he will receive a second yellow card. And they would be reduced to nine men. McKay, New Raiders. Dangerous play there by the Mantafari Richards. There's a tussle. And one of the men, which is actually the guys that are holding the ball, is the man Barrington Planter. So I'm not sure who the narrator's person. It seems to be Tariq Reed. And there's been some argument. And it actually is Tevin Cheese. And there's another tussle going on. And it seems to be Rowan Williams and Barrington Planter. So the referee Crystal Soba still not able to settle things down. And now the mediator for the time being Crystal Sobas. She does settle things down. So we will carry on. As 84 minutes have just elapsed. And we see just under six minutes to go here in regular time. If no one's able to score, then we'll go to extra time and penalties. Opportunity presented for Federal United. And the referee just receiving. A complaint from the Federal United players that they're too close. And no one complained there by Horace Sharp. Said that the players are too close to the ball, but Crystal Sobas is not hearing it. And a free kick now. Opportunity for Federal United to go ahead late in this game. 85 minutes have elapsed. What will be the result? What will be the outcome? A free kick. Oh, that was close. What a chance for Horace Sharp to send Federal United into a feeling of jubilee. But they still have possession. Hamilton on the ball now. Time and space. Sends this one inside the 18 yard box. Couldn't be collected by Sharp at first, but he does. And a shot. And now Hamilton. Oh, that was a save. Oh, what another save. There's an offside call on Horace Sharp. Or it is maybe the captain. And it will be a free kick for McKinney Raiders. What a chance for Federal United Football Club. Tavari Richards now, the in-game skipper, has so much time. It's being closed down now. The space is being closed down. And an opportunity now. Defensive clearance there by Arette Williams. Wilbur Williams sends it across to Tavari Richards. Richards on the ball now for McKay New Raiders. Sent across to Travis Bennett. Couldn't latch on to it. And it's still New Raiders. That was a poor pass in the end. Collected, however, by Richard Brown. And a foul by Giovanni Greenwood. So it's a free kick for McKay New Raiders. Opportunity now. There was a free kick at the other end of the field a couple minutes ago. Now there's a free kick now. Opportunity presented. Will be taken by Travis Bennett and collected. Not 
collected properly the first time by Stevens, but collected the second time. Sent forward now. And it will be collected by Oral Johnson. Thrown quickly. Almost 88 minutes gone, just over two minutes left. Ball sent forward to try and find Travis Bennett. And hounded by two players. And he couldn't get that one off. Manny Hamilton chips that ball over to try and find Giovanni Greenwood. Defended well by Richard Brown. Turned well by Richard Brown. Melbourne Williams couldn't latch on to that one. And it will be a free kick. Manny Hamilton was fouled. He fell on top of the ball. So his stomach... was injured so he will feel some pain that's why he's still on the floor and so the medical staff is on the case but he's sitting down at the moment he's slow to get up hopefully he's okay Free kick for Federal United. Ball sent inside the 18-yard box. Defensive clearance there by Tariq Reed. So it will be a throw. That ball went into touch. Opportunity still for Federal United Football Club to maybe close things off and heading to the finals. Ball sent forward now. Tevin Cheese couldn't collect. Federal United still has the ball. Greenwood swings that one inside the 18-yard box. Morant will collect, but it's a defensive clearance there by Tafari Richards. Headed on, collected by Wilburn Williams. Orette Williams across to Giovanni Greenwood. Couldn't control properly. Chested there by Tafari Bennett, or Travis Bennett. Collected by Sweeney, on to Hamilton. Forward now to Giovanni Greenwood. Three minutes of added time says the fourth official Ashin Walton so three minutes of added time for someone to get a positive result in regular time Collected there by Oret Campbell. And the referee says it's a throw, but it's for Federal United. Throw taken, headed on by Richard Brown. Collected by Lawrence, but it's been taken. And that was a foul committed by Akeem Lawrence. So it will be a free kick for Federal United. Still an opportunity for Federal United. This is a dangerous position. Ball swung inside the 18 yard box, headed on. And that was a very close call. Byron Sweeney, his ball intercepted and a back heel pass there to Tevin Cheese and that's not a bad ball but too much on it. Ball sent forward now, chested by Tariq Reed, collected by Wilburn Williams. Williams chips that ball forward and it's an offside and that was an offside all the way. Clear chance and a free kick for Federal United taken quickly. All right, Williams sends it forward for Horace Sharp. Kept by Wilburn Williams. 
Gets by Akeem Lawrence, sends it forward for Giovanni Greenwood. He sends that one inside, but goes behind, and it will be a goal kick. Ball sent forward now. Touched by Mario Brown. He collects it once more. And still Brown and a shot there. Collected by Oral Johnson. Looking at her watch and whistle in the mouth. And that is the signal of the end of regular time. No one able to convert any chance. And it's a stalemate. So 90 minutes have gone. The second half is over. And we head into extra time. It is McCain Raiders nil. Federal United Football Club nil. So we'll cut to commercial. And when we come back, match highlights as we get ready for extra time. We are ready. The role is to continue to drive for the development of the game here. Although players are selected from clubs abroad, they were developed in the league. They're really quality players and they have really good attitude and you get your money's worth. This match has turned up several gears. So we're back here at the Spanish Town Prison Oval. This is the first of two second leg semifinals of the St. Catherine Major League between Federal United and New Raiders. As we kick things off here and here comes the first real chance of the contest and it fell to Federal United and turning was Holness but a very good sliding challenge there by Tariq Reed and another chance there that just went wide by Michael Hurst and then here comes the first caution or it's actually the other chance for Federal United but again, a defensive clearance by Tariq Reed. And Federal United just kept coming and coming. McDonald send it to Christopher Holness once more and a shot that went wide. And this is actually the first caution of the contest. Michael Hurst. And he was so shown the show us. It looks to be an instep or a foot into the foot of the Federal United player and he was sent to the showers. And again, as I said before, they just kept coming and coming and a header, a very good chance for Holness to put Federal United ahead and couldn't. And that has been the, actually the highlights of the 90 minutes but we are here and this is the start of the first half of extra time Tafari Richards now on the ball sent across headed on by Holness headed further by Oret Williams Boston forward now, 
And Moran tried to, to latch on to that one, but he couldn't. So it goes into touch and it will be a throw for McKay New Raiders. Lawrence, his ball taken off by Hamilton. Stephen Morant on the ball now. And uh, defensive poke there into touch by Rowan Williams. So a throw for Federal United. The referee says it's a throw for Federal United. Orette Williams, ball set its side. Defensive clearance there by Reed. They still have possession, Federal United. Christopher Holness, his ball taken from him. And Cheese will chase and does. Cheese tries to receive it once more. And Sweeney with the clearance. And it's actually a throw. Wilburn Williams on the ball now for New Raiders. Sent it to Richard Brown. Still Richard Brown. To get further for Travis Bennett across to try and find Richard Brown once more and couldn't, but they do have back possession once more. And a shot there. Oh, that's just over the bar. Not far from the target. And it's a goal kick for Federal United. As I said before, McKinney Raiders actually are playing like they have 11 players on the field, 10 outfield players. You wouldn't think that they were reduced to 10 men. You'd only see the graphics on the screen. Bennett, no. Forward to Tevin Cheese. That's not a bad ball. And a center turn. Oh, that's a beautiful goal. What a goal by Tevin Cheese. The man from Dintel Technical produces here at the Spanish Town Prison Oval. So, new Raiders, one. Federal United, nil. My, oh, my. Goal, the standout from Tint Hill Technical stands out here for McKay Raiders and they lead 2-1 on aggregate as we see the ball there and it's taking nothing away from the pass from Travis Bennett what a pass that was by Travis Bennett one time curling shot by Tevin Cheese and straight in the inside of the bar to the back of the net and McKay New Raiders wanted seven cheese to produce and he produced a beauty. So Federal United will have to come back. And as I said, I said it before that McKay New Raiders were playing that they like they had 10 outfield players on the field. They didn't play at all like they had nine outfield players. They play like they have 11 players in all. And that is how you make a statement. We were reduced by one. We don't care. We still will produce. And Tevin Cheese does. So it's 1-0 to McKay New Raiders in this match. 2-1 on aggregate. Kian Federal United equalized from this free kick. Taken by Plata. Ball swung inside, punched out by Johnson. It's still danger. And a defensive clearance there by Tyreek Reed. Throw for Federal United. Hamilton tried to let on to Farrell Richards now. Sent it forward for Travis Bennett. Bennett has Sweeney. And Sweeney takes the ball pretty easily. Chested by Ty Wedderburn. Forward now to Tafari Richards. Richards on the ball now for New Raiders. Sent forward for Travis Bennett, but he's caught offside. Thank you. 
Collected by Johnson. And boy, oh boy, spoke to Tevin Cheese a couple weeks ago when we did feature them in the quarterfinals. And he said he's just here to produce and win games for New Raiders. And hopefully one day he is on the team with them when he says if not not if when they go to the Premier League and the new Raiders boy I tell you and now an opportunity now Giovanni Greenwood it's still Giovanni Greenwood challenged by Ty Wedderburn good tackle by Wedderburn for now finds the Father Richards across now to Rowan Williams Lawrence Back for Wedderburn, and he's offside to Farley Richards. And another substitution in the offing. The man, the skipper, Hamilton, he's coming off. And the number five, Andre Powell, he comes on for Federal United. Free kick sent inside the 18 yard box, headed on, and it's still danger. And it's averted by Tariq Reed. He's the man for the defensive clearance. And Tevin Cheese now will try to use his speed, but forward was Romario Brown. Giovanni Greenwood sends it forward. Collected by Ora Johnson. So, danger averted. But they still have possession now. Ball set forward. Actually, that's not a bad ball, but the keeper sees it all the way. So, they can reset once more, New Raiders. Chipped over for Rowan Williams. Sent over. Collected by Lawrence. He has so much space. And he goes by Oret Williams with ease. And he's taken down by Stephen Morant. So it will be a free kick for McCain Raiders. This is the St. Catherine FA second leg of the semi-finals between New Raiders and Federal United. New Raiders and Federal United were locked at one apiece in the first leg, but it's all New Raiders now. That goal was scored by Tevin Cheese to make it 2-1 on aggregate. Ball swung inside. And the goalkeeper Sheldon Stevens saw it all the way through. Goal kick for Federal United. They have to serve it something, at least for the second half, because you don't get as much time in the first. Clearance there by Richard Brown. Horace Sharp, no forward. And that's a foul committed by the man Powell so that is the end of the first half of extra time and a goal scored by the man from Dintel Technical the schoolboy standout Tevin Cheese and the first half ends of extra time with New Raiders leading by a goal to nil 2-1 on aggregate we'll cut to a short commercial break and come back with second half of extra time
is to continue to drive for the development of the game here. Although players... Back for the second half as we see another substitution. The man, Romain Hyman, he comes on. And the man, Akeem Lawrence, he comes off for McCain Raiders. So, starting off the second half. The referee didn't blow her whistle, Crystal Sobers. And now she does. So the start of the second half of extra time. And Federal United has to score to send this one to penalties at least. Or send two quick goals to send them into Jubilee. We see an interception and a clearance there by Tevin Cheese. So a throw for Federal United. So now, and Barrington Planter sends that one inside, punched away by Johnson, and headed on further by Tevin Cheese. And an interception there by Travis Bennett. Through for Federal United. Goal kick for McKay New Raiders. Send forward now. Travis Bennett will try to latch on. He's being challenged by Hyman. Or Sweeney, I should say. So it will be a throw for New Raiders. Tevin Cheese to take the throw. And there seems to be a cramp. And uh, I'm not sure as to why Roy, I'm not sure as to why the man the number 18 for Federal United, McDonald. And McDonald will have to watch himself or he will receive a card. And that was totally unnecessary, but Hyman now on the ball. It's still Hyman. Sends it across for Mer Williams. Back to Hyman now, and he'll take a shot. Collected by Stevens. But you'd have to say that. Have to say that the wasn't necessarily pain by Tevin Cheese. As the intensity continues to grow. Wilburn Williams just warned by Crystal Sobers. And a yellow card there for Horace Sharp for pushing down the man, Romain Hyman. So a free kick sent inside, headed on, and still an opportunity, not dealt with properly, now it is. And now Travis Bennett on the ball now, sent forward to try and find Tevin Cheese, but the keeper see, sees it all the way. And sent forward, headed on by Travis Bennett. And so it will be a throw. So 
just letting him know, I got this, I got this, don't worry yourself. I know what I can do. Wilburn Williams, shot. That's actually not a bad shot, actually. Just behind the goal. So, it will be a goal kick for Federal United. They don't have much time. They have about just over five minutes left to salvage something and send it to penalties. I mean, the way they're playing, you wouldn't believe that they're going to get a goal. Intercepted very well by Sweeney. And he's the man wearing the armband for Federal United. So remember about the application Island Sports Network and the website islandsports.net. You can view the Barbados Premier League right now. And also tomorrow, exciting scenes at the National Stadium. Second leg of the semifinals of the Red Stripe Premier League as Cavaliers face Waterhouse at five and Mount Pleasant face Portmore United at 8.35. And if you type in the code playoffs, you get a dollar off. So instead of 3 dollars it'll be 2 dollars So the link will be in the description and you can click on it and sign up and type in the promo code to get your dollar off. And you can watch the semi-final second leg tomorrow as well as the finals so you don't want to miss that one Back here, as you see, wonderful, wonderful out there from us here at Island Sports Network semi final action at the National Stadium. Headed out there by Wilburn Williams. Ball sent up. And an opportunity. Oh, that was a close one. What a save there by the man Oral Johnson. That was very close. And one of the shortest men inside the 18-yard box headed that one. And it was going to creep inside the back of the net and maybe send this one to penalties. Opportunity now. Swung inside the 18-yard box. Over by Brown, collected by Sweeney. Ramin Hyman to Tevin Cheese, forward now. To find Hyman, forward now, further. To find Tafari Richards, Richards with a cross, too much. And behind, and it will be a goal kick for Federal United. Minute and a half to go here. In the second half of extra time, New Raiders lead by a goal to nil. 2-1 on aggregate. Goal scored by the man, Tevin Cheese. And will that be the only goal of the contest? It seems so, as Romain Hyman sent it forward. And finding actually no one, I'm not sure as to why he sent it for that pass. Rhett Williams. Cross. Show some level of discomfort. And almost finding a mark. Honest Giovanni Greenwood. Collected by Oret Williams once more. And that was a good block there by Ramin 
Hyman. Almost finishing this match and it is over. So McCain New Raiders, they were reduced to 10 men halfway through the first half. It didn't matter. They progressed. A very good goal by the man Tevin Cheese. And that's the difference maker here. So a goal in the extra time means a victory for McCain New Raiders. And they're the first team that punched their ticket into the St. Catherine FA Major League Finals. So at the end of extra time, it is McCain New Raiders 1, Federal United nil. They win 2-1 on aggregate. And we'll take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, highlights of the entire game between New Raiders and Federal United. And don't forget, the second match of the other semi-final second leg will be Cedar Grove and Royal Lakes. You don't want to miss that one. So when we come back, highlights of this exciting encounter. Highlights of the first of the game here that just concluded in the first half. And then in the second, we see an interception there by Eric Williams and a ball sent forward for Holness. But a brilliant slide challenge there by Tariq Reed and a ball just wide of the target by Michael Hurst. We see a just a for possession in the first half by both teams. And another opportunity here for Federal United. Ball swing inside, but again, defensive work by Tariq Reed, who has been very solid for New Raiders throughout this match. Turn there by Roy McDonald, sent inside to Christopher Holness once more. And that was another challenge and another opportunity, but here is the red card for Michael Hurst and the reduction to 10 men by the referee Crystal Sobas and another opportunity for Federal United And into the second half for New Raiders. And almost for Federal United to go ahead, but they just couldn't convert. And the tension was building, anticlimactic, so to speak, in terms of the free kick. And it did not go into the back of the net. And again, they continue to push. And a shot straight across. And again, a very good save by Oral Johnson, but the referee already put their flag up for an offside. And a shot there by Akeem Lawrence. That went just over the target for them. But here is the first and only goal of the contest. A very, very excellent pass there by Bennett. And into the back of the net, a sweetly curled shot by Tevin Cheese. The man that produced the moment for New Raiders. And another opportunity presented for Federal United. That was creeping in, but a very good shot by Oral Johnson. So at the end of this contest, New Raiders, they win by... One goal to nil, 2-1 on aggregate. And we'll be back for post-game into.
post-game interview here with the coach of McCain Raiders for for Federal United. Sorry. And how are you feeling about this match? You guys were close. You guys had opportunities. But you just couldn't put the ball into the back of the net. What do you think went wrong for your team here today for the second leg? In, we were flat today. We were very, very poor. I think we turned over the ball a whole lot. Uh, our decision making inside the final third was also awful. Uh, we gave away the ball a lot without even thinking or, or, or really knowing what we really wanted to do. But I mean, the football, them things happened. I mean, we had the numbers advantage. We never made use of it. And again, created, I think, a couple of clear opportunities and then missed. And as a result of that, you pay the price. All right. Tell me what this journey has been. You went through to the semifinals just to come out by a goal, a great goal at that by the schoolboy Tevin Cheese, but you went to the semi-finals nonetheless. How do you feel about the journey of Federal United Football Club? I mean, not bad. Semi, of course, but of course, you definitely want to win. But not bad. Uh, good accomplishment, but you definitely want to win at this stage, you know? All right. Thank you and good luck next season. Yeah, man. Thanks much. All right. All right. That's the coach for Federal United. And now we're going to have the coach of McKay New Raiders. 1-1 one, one in the first leg. 1-0 here in the second leg and you're punching your ticket to the finals tell me how does this win feel for the coaching staff and the players at mckay new raiders well i think the, the important to, to us is the planning the planning from the one hour draw to now coming up to this game and i think we plan well organize the, the team much better and um, that's what happened today and the player then carried out the plan as uh, as it should be all right we spoke to you about tevin cheese we speak about him again today and he got on the score sheet a crucial goal for new raiders to punch their ticket in the finals tell me how has Stephen cheese been for you this season how crucial has he been coming off the bench for you this season well he, he is very crucial as a young player coming out um, um, the Casa cup youth football and um my team and the coaching staff see fit to put in youthful players and can in end up finishing the game for which is, it worked out well for us through the whole season we are east concerned now you can see we have um, another discaster cup player from dintil which is one of the stop of them and next stop of youthful players 18 18 was there so they, they are doing well for us so the important the message that we are sending youth is the way forward and that's one of the important things we're concerned he understand that when he go on and what he's supposed to do because when they, 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 they the second round when they the extra time coming where I said things him I need to wake up now and do what I'm supposed to do. And he did it. All right. Congratulations and good luck in the finals. All right, so that was the coach of New Raiders. So at the end of this contest, the first team have already punched their ticket. This team, McKay New Raiders, will square off against the winners of Cedar Grove and Royal Lakes. So they win 2 1 on aggregate, but they win here in the second leg by a goal to nil. Stay tuned. It will be Cedar Grove versus Royal Lakes.